Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys three ways that you can get your PS4 or PS5 working with your VPN. Now, if you didn't know, VPNs are not natively compatible with PS4s and PS5s. Rather, it's the other way around. It's the PlayStation that's not compatible with VPNs. Now, if you go to download VPN here with ExpressVPN, for example, you'll notice that we have a router option right here. Now, a router is basically the best and most reliable way of connecting your PS5 to a VPN because everything connected to the VPN secured router will also be secured by the VPN connection. So this is basically one way to locally secure your devices everything connected to that Wi-Fi, you can just secure them by installing a VPN on your router. And that way you won't have to install the VPN application on any other device. But the problem with this method is that you won't be able to use the VPN outside of that Wi-Fi. So obviously you wanna download it on your other devices if you wanna use the VPN on other devices. But for the PS5 and PS4, if you're looking for a more portable way of uh, connecting your PS5 and PS4 to the VPN, what you can do is use your phone's USB tethering. Now, before we move on to the tethering, again, as far as routers, you're probably going to need a compatible router. I forgot to mention that. So you can take a look at the websites for, you know, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. These are some of the best VPNs, by the way. That's why I'm using them. And I'll talk about them briefly a little later on if you're not sure which one to get, but these are overall the top three. Okay, so again, you've got to get a compatible router or you can just get the ExpressVPN AirCove, which comes pre-installed with ExpressVPN. Now, the next method is actually super simple. Uh, what you want to do is use your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot for your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. So what you can do is just turn on the hotspot or turn on USB tethering. USB tethering usually works with PCs, but I'm not sure if it'll work with PS4 and PS5. But regardless, if it doesn't work with the PS4 and the PS5, what you can do is instead of using a wired USB tether, uh, you can simply turn on the hotspot and then just connect your PS4 and PS5 to your uh, mobile phone's hotspot, which should already be connected to a VPN. So in this case, you'll download the VPN on your Android or iOS and use that as a hotspot, as a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, to connect your PS4 or PS5 to. Okay, now the third and final method is by using your PC as a VPN gateway. In case you don't want to use your mobile phone as a hotspot for whatever reason, or if your router doesn't support VPNs, you can basically install the VPN on your computer. Let's say you're on Windows, you can just install it. And then you have to connect your PS4 or PS5 with the PC. You have to connect them together using an Ethernet cable. Once they're connected, you want to go to Control Panel, go to View Network Status and Tasks, and then Change Adapter Settings. And then you want to right-click on your VPN connection. In this case, let's see if I go ahead and disconnect it. Oh, you'll notice that this is actually the ExpressVPN driver, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. Looks like this is the one, so I'll go ahead and just right-click this one properties, click on sharing and check the allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And from the drop down menu, you want to select the one that corresponds to your connection. And so in my case, it would be studio. So I would just pick ethernet. It is called ethernet. And that would be it. I would click OK. And then you could go to your PS4 or PS5, go to settings, network, setup connection, select use a LAN cable and choose the easy connection method. And then just follow the on-screen instructions to complete this setup. And once everything is set up, test the internet connection on your console to ensure that it's working and you're good to go. And that is basically it. Now, if you were to ask me, I would just use the first method, but let's say I don't have a compatible router and I don't wanna install it on my router for whatever reason then I could just use one of the two other methods, which is again, use your mobile phone's Wi-Fi hotspot, or you can use your PC instead. And that's basically it as far as connecting your PS4 and PS5 to a VPN. Now you've got three options as far as VPNs, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. I don't wanna make this video any longer, so I'll keep it brief. But if you'd like to learn more about any of these, you'll find the reviews down below. 
And if you end up picking up any of them, you can also check out the pricing and discount links in the description down below. But essentially, I would say ExpressVPN is the best overall. It's the easiest to use. And as far as privacy, I trust it the most. That's not to say that they're not safe. All of them are actually very safe. They're compatible with streaming and torrenting without any bandwidth limitations or throttling. You'll be able to secure multiple devices and they're compatible with many devices also. And they have plenty of servers and features and great security features. Nobody will be able to see what you're doing online, no matter where you're using ExpressNord or Surfshark. But as my daily driver, I do prefer ExpressVPN. It's very simple to use. I love how quick it is when it comes to connecting and disconnecting. And overall, I just like the simplicity of ExpressVPN as it's a VPN that's actually been very reliable and consistent throughout my three years of using it. Now, I've also been using Nord and Surfshark from time to time. And from my experience, NordVPN is honestly a very well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of bonus features that they keep adding for a very reasonable price. So if that's something that you're looking for, then NordVPN is a great option. Granted, Nord has 61 countries as opposed to ExpressVPN's 105 countries and ExpressVPN will allow for up to eight devices, whereas NordVPN allows for up to six devices per subscription. But if six or eight devices are still not enough, you can go with Surfshark, because essentially Surfshark is gonna allow you to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So it's a perfect choice if you wanna share it with as many friends and family members as you would like, or if you just have so many devices to secure. Uh, besides that, this is actually the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary security features. Uh, and again, you can secure so many devices virtually an unlimited amount. Uh, and also you have up to 100 countries, which is a very solid number. ExpressVPN, I believe, has the most amount of countries as far as, you know, country diversity. Uh, but Surfshark is not that far behind. At the end of the day, it's up to you whether you want to go with one over the other. But for more info, again, the reviews down below. And if you were going to get one, I did ask ExpressVPN just out of curiosity. Uh, and they did tell me that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan than they would have going with the yearly plan. Because it seems like most people renew monthly thinking they might not need the VPN for more than a month, but they do end up renewing, but using the monthly plan, which is at a much higher rate. So if you're going to get a VPN, if you know you're not gonna need it for more than a month, then by all means, just get the month plan. And either way, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, even if you want for the yearly plan. But if you want to save money and you know you're going to keep it for longer than a month, then just go ahead and get the yearly plan because it'll come with three extra months for free if you click the link in the description down below. So feel free to take advantage of that. And again, there's a 30 day money back guarantee in case you just want to, you know, go back on your decision. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.